A long list of Milwaukee area artists have had a major influence in the world of music. Yeah, Steve Miller, the late Liberace, and Al Jarreau, just to name a few. Our Andrea Williams is joining us now to tell us about a new generation of musicians, and they happen to be cousins. Wow, that's yes, cool. Yes, I love this. And these two cousins, born and raised in Milwaukee, they understand that the family that plays together stays together. <laughs> Sean Hinton and Afton Johnson have been making music together since they can remember. I don't even know if he remembers this, but we would be in my grandparents' backyard and we were making guitars sure was. out remember. of pieces of wood and rubber mm -hmm. bands and nails yep. <laughs> before we even started playing guitar. Growing up in the church, their grandfather, who was a pastor, helped spark their love for music. My grandfather showed me my first three chords and I was hooked. Not to mention their moms, aunts, and great uncles all played multiple instruments. The fruit didn't fall far from the tree at all. It was just like, it's embedded in our DNA. Like, we were musicians, whether we liked it or not. The cousins are more like brothers. They grew up on Milwaukee's north side and graduated from Milwaukee Public Schools. Sean from Milwaukee High School of the Arts and Afton from North Division. My hopes and dreams were touring. I wanted to do it. I, that, it was a passion of mine. I just had no idea how it was going to happen, but I was very confident that at some point that it was going to happen. Sean got his first big break playing for R&B singer Dave Hollister and quit his job as a medical records clerk. Afton got his first national gig with gospel great Kim Burrell. Since then, the two have worked with everyone from Eddie Levert to Jay-Z to John Legend. And I get a phone call from Quest like, yo, Shunny B, you want to play for John Legend? I was like, yeah, sure. Fast forward to today, since 2014, Sean Hinton has played bass for Grammy Award winning artist Mary J. Blige. What is it like to be on tour, to be on stage with the queen of hip hop soul? It's amazing, man. Like she's such, she's such a hard working performer and artist. Afton has been touring with Milwaukee's own Eric Benet since 2010. Some of my friends, mutual friends, were um, in the studio and they happened to be in the studio with him and like, come hang out, which was not you know, abnormal. So I go to hang out and he's there auditioning for a bass player for his new album. The rest, as they say, is history. When Sean and Afton are not touring, they're back at Christian Faith Fellowship Church playing just like they did as kids. Personally, it's like, this is my opportunity to give back. You know, like God gave me this gift and ability. Why not use it? back in the house of God. Sean has five albums under his belt, including his latest titled Art. I'm paying homage to great R&B. I grew up listening to LTD, uh, The Whispers, Heat Wave, The Shy Lights. Like, my mom had those records. Both musicians have been blessed to secure endorsements with Charvel guitars, and they send a positive message to others striving to follow in their footsteps. Find a mentor, somebody, someone that's doing what you're doing, what you're trying to do, and um, you know, soak it all in, but work hard and believe that it can happen, and you'll, you'll get there. You gotta love it. Sean and Afton are not only great guys, but great role models as well. Continued success to them both. Yeah, the entire time I was thinking about how they are great role models to so many here in Milwaukee mm -hmm. and then wherever they're touring as well. Yeah, and you know I would never be able to be on stage behind Mary J. I have to try to <laughs> right. do the dance. While she's doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I just think they have the coolest jobs and to know that they dreamed about this their whole lives is just awesome. Well, I just think that the pictures of them that you, they shared with you about when they were little and it just shows that dreams really do come true. Absolutely. I mean, just awesome. No matter where yeah. you are. Thank That's you, true. Andrea.